Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the topic of India developed an atmospheric test bed. So, an atmospheric research test bed has been developed by India near to Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. And this is how it looks like. Now, what is atmospheric test bed? Now, if you will look at the term atmospheric, it means it will be related to atmosphere. Test bed, it means it, it will something which is re related to testing of something. So, let us look into it. First of all, about the timeline, first we will be looking at the news, then what is atmospheric research test bed, importance of ART, that is atmospheric research test bed and in the end prelims MCQ. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 1, you can say that is geography with regard to rainfall. So, the news talks about why has India developed an atmospheric test bed near Bhopal. Important point is atmospheric test bed, why is it, what it is and then why is it built near it, near Bhopal. So, the first phase of India's atmospheric research test bed in central India that is ARTCI, central India, it, it is situated near Bhopal that is in Madhya Pradesh. So, you can say that Madhya Pradesh lies in central India and it is inaugurated at Sihor district located about 50 kilometers northwest of Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. It is funded by the Ministry of Earth Science. These are important facts which you people have to remember. And this facility will house 25 high end meteorological instruments. And they will be studying vital cloud processes associated with the monsoons over central India's monsoon core zone. Crowd processes means that the Time when rainfall takes place in India, like you can say that the southwest rainfall, where majority of the rainfall of India comes, or the retreating north retreating rainfall, or you can say the northeast rainfall also. So they will be studying the cloud processes, how the rainfall comes, and how the more accurate prediction of rainfall can be made. And this will be associated with the monsoons over the central India's monsoon core zone. When we talk about the monsoon core zone, so the monsoon core zone means that the time where actually the monsoon is at its peak. So that is, you can say in India, it is the time of the southwest monsoon. Then let us talk about what is atmospheric research test bed that is known as ART. So it will be open field, it means on in the open field it will be set up as I just showed you in the starting of the video. So, let us see it again. See, this is how it will look like open field and it is situated in between and in center of an open field. So, it is an open field focused observational and analytical research program at Silkheda. So, Silkheda is a place which Silkheda is a place where it is situated. So, it will be it is an open field focused observational. So, it will be observing things and then it will be analyzing and what it will be analyzing? It will be analyzing the cloud program which have which goes through India and the aim will be to conduct gro ground based observations of weather parameters like temperature, wind speeds, etc. So, these observations of weather patterns, weather patterns means that how the weather comes to India because weather in India depends on a lot of things like temperature, wind speed, humidity, then how the westerly, west, westerly winds are behaving and lot many things. So, it will be studying those weather parameters and also the in situ observations that is the on site observations of the transient synoptic systems and these synoptic systems means the low pressure areas and depressions that form in the bay of bengal during the southwest monsoon season from june to september it will basically be looking into all the parameters which affects the weather patterns in india or the cloud formations in india because that is how the rainfall comes to India. And then 
studying these systems will be used to generate high volume of data over a long period so when these studies will be done a data will be collected and over a long period of time a data will be collected and that data with regard to studying the cloud formation and the temperature and with uh, the weather patterns and everything with regard to the cloud formation so over a long period of time it will tell us that how things takes place then it can then be compared with the existing weather mod models so that improvements can be made to obtain accurate rainfall predictions now this is what is the main motive so over a long period of time a data will be collected and then it will be compared with the existing data and then what are the deviations that will be noticed and then the noted down deviations will be seen that what extra we can do so that exact and correct predictions can be made with regard to the rainfall predictions because this automatically will affect the farmers of our country because india is majorly you can say is india is a agriculture based country and around 45% of our population is employed in the agriculture sector and we are still dependent on the monsoon for our irrigation purposes so during the monsoon core zone or you can say the southwest monsoon over a long period of time when the data will be collected with regard to the weather patterns with regard to the cloud formations with regard to the parameters which affect the weather patterns and then things will be analyzed and then an a better accurate predictions with regard to the rainfall can be made and the area of the art is spread over 100 acres and it is developed by the ministry of earth science and the budget is around rupees 125 crores and the indian institute of tropical meteorology which is situated in pune is in charge of the operations and the art will house india's tallest meteorological tower important point to remember can be asked in pcs examinations also and this can be an important fact also now what is the importance of atmospheric research test bed that is a r t so as 45% of india's labor force is employed in the agriculture sector accurate rainfall will help them a lot and we are already talking about doubling of farmers income so this will also help them in certain way and indian agriculture is rain fed as is culti as is as is cultivation along the monsoon core zone rain fed is that we are still very much dependent on the rainfall for the irrigation purposes scientists will be able to generate and obtain long term observations on cloud microphysics precipitation convection and land surface properties among a host of other parameters then more accurate forecast will ultimately help the farming community plan their activities better so if more accurate rainfall predictions can be made then the farmers can also work accordingly they can also think of think some unique idea or some out of the box idea that if this production is made then instead of this they can do something else so it will save their time energy and also the resources then improvements can be made to obtain accurate rainfall predictions then accurate rainfall predictions is you can say is the ultimate goal of the art that is the atmospheric research test bed now before going on to the question on the occasion of holi drishti ias is coming up with up to 50% discount on all online pen drive test series books and distance learning program and the offer is valid from 21 to 24th of march that is 21st to 24th of march so you can download the drishti learning app or you can call on this number or you can also go and click on the link which is given in the description box so celebrate this holy with drishti now in the end of prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section the indian meteorological department is under which ministry so ministry of earth science ministry of home affairs ministry of commerce or 
none of the above so tell me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications